the Deep Wells Mansion. Every Halloween, the mansion is decorated as a haunted house. This place was initially a post office, and the first telephone was installed in here. My name is Nicholas. I am a young paranormal investigator in search of proof of the spirit world. I am also a person that can easily sense and feel spirit energy around me. I am joined by my uncle and cameraman, William, and my father and executive producer, Nick. We will search for ghosts at some of the world's most creepiest haunts. This is a haunted legacy. My dad and I are in St. James, New York to investigate the Deep Wells Mansion. All right, we're here at the Deep Wells Mansion. Now this place was constructed in 1845 for Joel L.G. Smith, who was actually a descendant of Richard Bull Smith. And this mansion gets its name from its two brick lines, 125 foot wells. In 1989, Suffolk County acquired the property and it was later managed by the Deep Wells Farm Historical Society. Every Halloween, the mansion is decorated as a haunted house and hundreds of people come in to receive a spine-chilling scare. But what most people don't realize is that this mansion really does have a reputation for being haunted. When we tried to get inside the house, we realized that all the doors were shut. So my father and I searched the outside of the house. The reason why the mansion was closed was because the day that we filmed this episode was on a Sunday. I did an EVP session by the water tower. You have no need to be afraid of me, even though I'm young. Are you over by the water tower? Can you manifest yourself? Could you make a little noise in those bushes? Then I tried near the patio. I'm starting to feel the energy. Nothing yet in the meter. I sat in one of the old chairs in the patio and decided to do an extra recording session. Show me a little bit looking around. Leave the voice recorder on my the arm of my chair. Dan, I can feel something a little bit. Just just from the looks of it, it gives you that spooky feeling. Yeah, I know I've run through everyone's imagination, but I'm telling you, I can feel some. You don't have to believe me, but I'm just saying. Alright, is there any Russell Spirits here at Deep Bowl's Mansion? My name is Nicholas. I went up to one of the glass doors and took a peek inside. As I was looking inside, I began feeling a heavy presence. From my perspective, I was visualizing and feeling the presence of a lady in a white dress walking into the room that I was looking in. My father and I went back to the front of the mansion.
I went back on the front porch and grabbed my equipment. As I was walking on the front porch, my father's camera captured something incredible. As I was walking to the other end of the porch, you can see what looks like a light orb coming out of my ghost meter and traveling up to the porch ceiling. And then it comes back down and it floats in mid-air, just inches away from my head. Then we did one last walkthrough outside the house. Unfortunately, I wasn't capturing any evidence outside the house. Then the two of us wrapped up our mission at the Deepwells Mansion. After we filmed at the Deepwells Mansion, my father and I both remembered that there's another haunted place in St. James. So we both took a short walk across the street to the second and final haunted place on our list the St. James General Store. Here it is, the St. James General Store. Now this place was constructed in 1857 by Ebenezer Smith, who was actually another descendant of Richard Bullsmith of Smithtown. This place was initially a post office and the first telephone was installed in here. It was the only place to go find a telephone in the town of St. James. And it actually has a reputation for being haunted. So let's go look inside to see if we can document any ghosts. When we entered the St. James General Store, we saw that there were a few customers inside. So we went into a room where there was not a lot of people and started searching. Dan, this looks like a quiet area. I did a brief and quiet EVP session. Alright, who's here? The St. James General Store. I gotta be quiet. Very nice store. It's a cool view outside. not going off yet. With no evidence captured inside, we decided to head back outside so that way we wouldn't be distracted by the other people. My father Nick and I went through the fence and into the back of the store. I split from my father and attempted to communicate with the spirit of Ebenezer Smith. I took out my ghost meter and voice recorder and began asking a few inquiries to the spirits that are said to reside here. Come on, spirits, talk. Ebenezer, you here? I'm Nicholas. We're the first paranormal investigators here. My father also tried to communicate with him. When I was inside the St. James General Store, I started picking up some dark energy. I felt like Ebenezer Smith was right, right behind me, or a man of some sort, right in this area. Ghost meter didn't spike a couple of times. Maybe the spirits are more active at night. If there's anything you want to say right now on this digital recorder, now's your chance. It appears the St. James General Store has a heavy energy affiliated with it. We continued searching in the back of the store for about five minutes, and we didn't receive any further evidence during that time. So we left the St. James General Store. When we left St. James, we decided to show our film footage to our crew member, William, to see what his perception was on both locations.
I interviewed him face to face and began showing him some of the photos and videos. So I know you couldn't come with us to this mission, but I wanted to share your thoughts about the Deepwell's Mansion and the St. James General Store. So first I'll start with Deepwell's Mansion. In that video you saw about it being a haunted house and all that, they decorated it for Halloween. So what are your thoughts about that? They say that it's really haunted and all that stuff. Do you think they're just doing that for entertainment or? Yeah, possible, because a lot of places do stuff like that around Halloween. You gotta, to, to really know if it's haunted or not, you gotta see when it's not Halloween. It's set up that way for Halloween, so you don't know if it's really haunted or not. You yeah. don't know. But yeah, I know, but they said in the book, though, at one point that they said it might have been haunted. Well, on, so. on, I mean, on, on a normal day, you, you, you might be able to find out. It's hard to tell because you don't know if, it, if it's really haunted or if it's just really set up that way. Usually, people's businesses, whatever, they set up think, think, things like that for people to come look at. So, yeah, I mean, on Halloween, you, you, don't, you don't know. Yeah, I know. I mean, aside from us being there, what do you think of the house itself? Like, it was built like in the 1800s and stuff like that. Do you think uh, it looks nice or the architecture? It's still standing, I guess. I, you know, but you gotta realize too that oh, over the years it had to be repaired at times. I mean. All right, now William, we're gonna talk about the St. James General Store, the oldest operating general store on Long Island. I mean, what do you think of Ebenezer Smith? Like, he was the descendant of Richard Bullsmith of Smithtown. Like, well, he came back from the California Gold Rush and built the shop. Like, do you think that was impressive? That, 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 that's good that he did that. He was able to have, to have the money to do, do that, what he wanted, wanted to do, to help, help out, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's how it was back, back, back then. He had one or two stores, more, basically one, one store in a in small town where he went and he, he bought everything that he needed, food and clothes. When we were there, my father and I couldn't really search around the inside because there was other customers in there. And what are your thoughts about that? Because I know it was, it was kind of disappointing how we couldn't search inside as much during well, the business know, hours. You, you do what you had to do, what you were able to do. Like I said, not, not being there, I can't, can't say much, but you, 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 you did what, what you had to do. The town of St. James, New York is said to be one of the oldest towns on Long Island. When my father Nick and I paid a visit here, we searched at two locations, the Deep Wells Mansion and the St. James General Store. When we arrived at Deep Wells Mansion, we found out we couldn't search the inside because the building was closed. But we decided to not let this opportunity fail for us. When we checked our footage at Deep Wells Mansion, we claimed to have captured a light orb flying above me in the porch. Then we both headed across the street to the notoriously haunted St. James General Store. For this aspect of our mission, we ended up having a chance to search inside the shop, but it was short-lived. When I went into the back of the shop, I claimed to have felt the presence of an elderly man by my side. And as we move forward with our missions, we will always take a moment to look back at the history that made the town of St. James, New York come alive as we know it today.